Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be pitching my action-adventure storyboard sequence titled Tijeras, which features a traveler named Inez and a necromancer named Marcos. So we open on the Mexican desert, pan over to a guy with a cart. Inez is in the back hitching a ride. She gets up, peers around. They're headed to the Mercado de Milagros. There's a shady hooded figure at the door. Guy goes up, gets let in. Inside, it's busy with people. Inez gets off the cart, looks around, and starts making her way inside. But from this window come out two disembodied skeleton hands, and they start following her. So Inez is making her way through the marketplace. When this mythical dog creature sees her, starts growling, raises its tail, there's a hand at the end of it, which it uses to lunge at her and grab her by the serape. Uh, it struggles. <clears throat> she runs away. Her shadow passes over these guys playing cards. And the shadow of the hands passes over them as well. She rounds a corner, runs down some stairs. The hands are still following her. She stops at this alleyway and makes her way towards the only merchant there. Puts down her suitcase, opens it. Plunk, two huge bags of money. She shows the merchant that her mouth is sealed shut with magic thread. The merchant sees this, knows what to do, gets out a key, unlocks a drawer, gets out a case, and inside is the only pair of scissors that can cut the threads. Inez sees this, look, reaches forward. Whew. What was that? She whips around. The hands have stolen the scissors, and they fly off with them. There's a beat, grabs the money, hey! Runs up the stairs, turns a corner, runs through a canyon, and as she emerges panting, she hears a voice. Buen trabajo, muchachos, says Marco. Marcos. I can always count on outsiders to forget the power of necromancers. So, what's your next move, desperate one? He sees the bags of money. Oh, you want to buy these back? Come back with ten times the pesos you have now and I'll think about it. She drops the money. Gets out a stick of dynamite, lights it, puts on her bandana, and walks towards him. Oh, murder-suicide by dynamite, that's new. But if it's just you getting blown to bits, I could use some of your remains. Muchachos, throw her into the canyon. The skeletons are activated. They sprint for her. But Inez throws the dynamite. It explodes. Clouds of dust come rushing towards them. <coughs> Muchachos, don't let her try anything. Get her. Shing, takes out his saber. Swings it, Inez blocks it, kicks him in the chest. With the other one, she grabs it by the spine and throws it. Clack, 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 strike! She runs into the dust. Marcos can't see from the dust, so Inez goes up and kicks him in the head. Scissors go flying. The ground is shaking, cracks are appearing in the ground. The rocks are starting to crumble. So Inez sprints for the scissors, but Marcos grabs her ankle, and they both start falling. Inez has to think fast, so she grabs on the side of the cliff, and they're both hanging there as the dust settles. Marcos can't even believe he's still alive, so he starts laughing. <laughs> Inez is not having it, so she winds up and... <sighs> Marcos is no more. <sighs> she sighs in relief and throws the scissors, climbs up, Takes off her bandana again, opens the scissors, and finally has the chance to cut the threads.